three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Mission Control for a, another Quick Tips video. In this video, we're going to discuss the at keys. The at keys next to the wheels on a console or by clicking the value in the attribute display area, you can get quick access to items to speed up your programming. So let's see that. We see here I've got the Titan Go interface up, running version 13. I also have a Titan Mobile connected, so I can press the actual at keys on a console. So if we select some fixtures here, if you double click the button next to one of our wheels or click on the contribute display area, we can take it, if it's a percentage change value, take that straight from 0 to 100 percent. Do the same thing here by clicking on the console. And depending on which attribute I have up will be what each wheel controls. So if I had it here, I could just double click on and take that, my magenta straight to 100, or my cyan straight to 100. Or if I was using something as a gobo, and I double clicked on it, it would take it and put that value in the programmer if it's a hard value rather than a percentage based value. If I single click either on the display or a button on the console, I can then present it with soft keys. I can do things, I can select a function, like in this case, I can select which Gobo I wanted and take it straight to Gobo 6. I actually wouldn't locate these fixtures so we can see them, and we'll do that again. And as you can see, take it straight to those Gobos themselves. And if we were going to a percentage paste, uh, attribute such as our color mixing, we can single click and then we could type in a value if we wish to say 25 and then press enter. We can see that it takes it straight to 25%. See it now put our magenta at 35%. If we single click again, we could also do what's called touch. That would basically take the value that's currently at and just put that in the programmer. As we can see, it's in the programmer now because it has the light blue highlighting in the attributes display area. If we were to go to our position, let's say, and we'll go ahead and put some tilt on them. If we did a single click, we could also clear it from the programmer. So if we hit clear, we can see it take that out of our programmer. It would no longer be recorded if we used channel mode. We could also do take it to the release values. So if we hit release, we can see that it takes it to the release values, which in this case would be 50% uh, tilt. If we went to our color attributes, and if we chose locate, it would take it to the locate values, in this case would be 0%. Same thing on our cyan. You can also turn them off so they don't get recorded in the programmer if you wish. You could do, say that we had these at 100% and we just wanted it to not record in our programmer, we can set it to off. So now it is off in the programmer, would not get recorded in our programmer even when using channel mode. We can also use freeze. So if we were to say, go to our position here and we'll put some tilt on our fixtures. And say we didn't want them to change their tilt or their intensity, what we do is single click on them, set them both to freeze. So now even if we press clear on our fixtures, we see that they stay in their place. We select them, and locate them, and we see that our tilt doesn't move because it shows it's frozen. We can unfreeze it, and then we can see that it goes to the values for locate. So that's using the at buttons with programming, help speed things up and help you get, make your programming quicker. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe. And join us next time. Thanks. Bye. Wheel stop. Roger. Wheel stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.